Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Shauna, back up in this joint with another video. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you a few of the nose rings that I like currently wearing and where I got them from. And yeah, I just maybe like and just maybe a few tips on nose rings and stuff like that. So <laughs> Okay, so the nose rings that I'm currently wearing at the moment, I have two. I have both sides pierced. Okay, so I usually like to wear a hoop on this side and a stud on this side that's usually what i like okay so right now this is the hoop that i've been currently wearing it actually has like a little flower all right can you see it try to make sure it's in focus nose rings so i really like this one it's gold or i think it's rose gold really <laughs> but yeah it's a little flower yeah so i got it from aliexpress it was really cheap it's probably only like around three dollars maybe two three dollars just i don't know it's very cheap a lot of you know you can get stuff on aliexpress for super cheap and then on this side i have the stud like a really you know, a more like really small size stud it's a corkscrew one too so uh, yeah it's a corkscrew one uh. Usually I like the really teeny tiny studs, but lately I've been liking them a little bit bigger so they're a little bit more noticeable. And usually like, you now we're like a regular, just a plain hoop, then I don't mind a little bit of a bigger nose ring type of stud. But when I have more of a fancy type of hoop that has like a design on it, then I feel like I prefer like a smaller stud. Cause I don't know, I just, I don't like, always like to have too much going on, but it just depends on my mood. So the thing about this nose ring, I've been wearing it for a few weeks now and I'm probably gonna um, take it out and change it though, since I already been wearing it. And plus, one of the things is it is, I, mean, I really like it, but it has, it looks like it's starting to change color. Sometimes my, um, in my, both of my holes are completely healed, but sometimes like, I could feel like the hole feels like a little bit sore sometimes and I'm not sure if that's just because maybe this is a cheap quality <laughs> nose ring because I could tell that it's starting to change color and then like there's always like I don't know like stuff in the hole and then it'd be looking like and then it almost looks like there's a little bit a little bit just a little bit of green you know so I mean it's a really pretty nose ring though I really like it I just you know I've been wearing it for a few weeks and it's like Starting to change color. Oh, and one of like it has like little, um, you know, rhinestone things for the on the flower, and like one of them did fall out, but you probably can't really tell. Like it's not just notice because they're like so tiny, but one of the studs fell out. But I mean, I guess you get what you pay for, right? So you know, this, it was a really cheap one. See, I'm probably gonna take this out and then and just put back in my regular um hoop for now but other than that it's pretty so i probably recommend like sometimes if you get like cheap like nose rings like these then it's probably better to wear them more like occasionally or something instead of like just keeping it in and you know just wearing it 24 7 every single day so it probably will be better and like last longer and all that if you just kind of wear it for certain occasions or something you know but I have this much ring. This is a stud and it's a butterfly. You can see it? It's a stud and it's a butterfly. It's really pretty. It's a little bit bulky though, but all right. So I like wearing this one sometimes, but and especially since it's a stud, so it's easy to definitely more easy to take in and out. And so I don't wear it like 24 seven because for one, this stud it actually broke, but I actually fixed it. <laughs> I put it back together with some Gorilla Glue. <laughs> so it's been hanging in there so far, but it did break one time when I was sleeping. So, because I think I, I, I did keep like messing with it and stuff. So I decided, well, once I fixed it, I decided that I would just like not wear it like 24 seven so that, you know, I don't know. Maybe it'd be better like to wear it certain occasions, like just wear it for a day 
if I'm in the mood for the look or whatever, right? And I got this one from eBay. This was like around $7. Oh, and this is an L shape, so... And that's another thing is I decided that for studs, <laughs> my favorite type of stud is the L shape because when the piercing is more healed, they're easy to get in, take in and out. And I like that they're easier to keep hidden in the nostril or as the corkscrew. Sometimes like it shows, I don't like when it shows something like I might could have a booger or something in there. So, but I like that the L shape doesn't like really stick out ever. So it's easier, it kind of stays hidden all the time. So I like the cor or the um, L shape. I like the L so I like the L shapes the best, so I go for an L shape stud if I can. I wanna get another hoop. I wanna get one of those hoops that got the um, studs going like all the way, you know, around the whole thing. But in the meantime, so like the other the hoop that I usually wear is this one. It's a seamless hoop and it's silver. It's a silver one. Sometimes I wear a rose gold one. With the nose rings that I got, the rose gold kind of like fades a little bit and just looks a little bit more of like a yellow gold. And so that's the only reason why I not really wear I don't know, and I guess I, I feel like the yellow gold doesn't like stand out as much, especially on my skin tone. Like almost, I feel like it kind of like blends in more on my skin tone and it's more like a yellowish gold. So I put the silver one back in because the silver to me like stands out more. So I prefer like a more of a really lighter, bright gold or rose gold or silver. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one. So yeah, this is a seamless hoop and it's like opened right now. Yeah, so it's open right now and it's pulled open like this way. So, you know, like I said in my other video, which yeah, I did do a video about nose rings before, so you can go check that out. I'll probably link it on this video. I talk about how to put in and take out different types of nose rings and I show how I take in and out the hoop because I know that can be hard. It's like a seamless type of hoop like this. And I'll do it again in this video because I want to change it now anyway. This one right here is basically the same set thing except it just has this flower. So all you do is just pull it this way. And this one is actually really easy to um, open and close. Like it's like it opens and closes just like that. There's no like effort. So you just grip it and then you pull it like that. <laughs> and then it should slide right up. It looks like parts of it is starting to turn black a little bit. So there, but so basically, so here's the seamless hoop, right? Now, right now it's open. So, like I said, when you do the seamless hoop, you, know, you don't pull it open this way. You pull it apart like this. One side goes this way, and you pull the other side back this way, so that you don't mess up the shape. And then you close it back the same way. So don't pull it apart like this. That's gonna mess up the shape. And this one's already open because I just never close it back after I took it out. So I'll put it back in. And then closing it is even harder than pulling it open. Even when it's inside your nose, for me, it's still, it's not too hard to pull it apart, but it's harder to get it closed. Especially when you have nails. It's really this one, the pointer finger, because like that's, depends a lot on that one and, and I have to hate to have to cut my nails and just I mean, most of the time this nose ring just stays in so oh okay so you know you take one end put it on your nostril <laughs> and make sure the end is in goes into the hole okay keep turning it until you see it went all the way through and then this is the part this is the pain in the ass part <laughs> is trying to get this closed just try it if you can you try to grip one side grip the other side oh make sure your hands are not oily because that's gonna help because you gotta be able to grip it like that's this is like it's so tiny and then it's hard you know and it probably depends on the size of your fingers and whatnot. <laughs> I don't know, just like, make sure, like wipe your hands off or something. Make sure that they're not like oily so that it'll grip better without slipping off. And then so try to grip one side and then grip the other. I know I look crazy right now. 
shit. <laughs> Like, I'm not gonna lie, it, it, it can be hard. Okay, so when you feel like you got a good grip of both sides, <laughs> that's when you gotta use your strength. Um, it's hard. When I, the first time I changed it to a hoop, my piercing was about three months, which three months it's not, not going to be completely healed. But, I mean, I guess it was healed enough. I was able to get through, but it did hurt. I did struggle, but it's like you have to keep working on it, taking your time, and eventually get through. Okay, you get. So you can probably see it's still slightly, slightly, but you know, I'll fix it later. But it's okay. But I would recommend to, especially if your piercing is not completely healed, like it's only a few months old, I would definitely recommend. I definitely recommend that if you do get a seam, put a seamless hoop in, that you make sure that it is closed, like, so that it looks like a seamless, that it's seamless because, like, if your piercing is not healed, then it's not good if the open part um, ends up in the inside of your piercing because it could hurt and then plus, you know, your nose is still healing, so like if it ends up getting turned in there and then it just sits in there for oh, too long, then you might have a hard time like getting it out. <laughs> but what I would really recommend, if you really want to hoop when your piercing is not healed, like if you're going to change it soon after you got pierced, you're going to do a hoop, I would actually go for like a stopper type of hoop not a seamless hoop because i think it would be easier because you don't have to deal with trying to close it because you know like if it's not healed then like you know it's hard it takes some strength trying to get this thing closed so it's like you know you gotta be careful because you're like pulling on it on the piercing too and like i said it already kind of hurts and then you're pulling on a piercing that's not even healed so you might be kind of like stretching the hole a little bit and yeah, so I mean that was my struggles. So I was like, you have. To, so it's like it makes it harder. You have to really be careful too, not to pull the piercing, while at the same time using strength to get it closed. So if your piercing, I mean, if your piercing's healed, then this is fine. Like, because it, it shouldn't really hurt. I mean, I'll still try not to pull on it too much, but as long as you can grip it and sh 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 <laughs> then you'll be good. Okay, this one is a stopper type of hoop. There's like different kinds, but alright, this one is one of the ones that I have. I have like other ones. I have the one like Alright, so I have like different <laughs> type of stoppers. Like it's like basically a C shape. You can see it. I'm dropping stuff on the floor. And like one end is like gonna have like a stopper so that it doesn't come all the way out. So you know you would put it in. <laughs> okay, but the thing is you have to put it in with the inside and then turn it so that the stopper is on the inside. So then I forgot that could be kind of hard too. But so yeah, that could be kind of hard too. It's trying to find the hole on the inside. So I don't know. I guess it's up to you what you want to do. I don't know. I would think that it would be because you don't have to deal with tugging on it trying to get it closed though. That's why I think that maybe you should try to do the uh, stopper hoop. But, I don't know. Okay, so anyway, so I went back to a regular seamless hoop for now. Because this one is fine. It doesn't change color. It doesn't, I haven't worn, I don't know. It's just, I think it's just, I don't know what it is. I think it's stainless steel or something. I don't know. But it doesn't change color. It doesn't turn anything. Whatever. It's good so I, I like just keeping in the hoop a simple hoop so that's why I recommend changing those other ones especially if it's like kind of cheap quality to only wear them like like don't wear them all the time 24 7 okay so so just like this one because it's more of a fancier one and like I told you it did break before so I only wear it like just occasionally when I'm in the mood for you know something a little bit more bigger stylish you know fancy type shoe but when I'm not wearing it and I'm just gonna wear like a typical hoop that I leave in 24 seven that I sleep in and everything. Um, I just wear, you know, a little hoop like this. I mean, or a stud. I call this a hoop. 
it's a stud guys yeah, really like a little stud like that and it's an L shape this one is gold and then like it just has like a little gem it's not like super super tiny but it's not extremely big so for me it kind of fits well with you know just using like a plain hoop and yeah yeah so that's usually what i wear most of the time is this look on a regular when i'm not doing anything um <laughs> i mean this is what i usually wear on a regular when i don't want to put anything and i'm not gonna wear one of the more fancier nose rings and i just like the hoop and the stud but yeah and then but for this video, I wanted to show you more of my, you know, cuter, fancier type of nose rings. So, and I was like, dang, and then this thing, when it broke, I only had it for like a couple weeks. And I was like, dang, it broke and I didn't get to like make a video with it yet or nothing. I didn't get to wear it anywhere, <laughs> like, because it broke when I was sleeping. But I glued it back together with some Gorilla Glue, so it's still wearable now. But anyway, alright, so I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to end this video, so if there's anything else about nose rings, nose piercings that you think I can help with, that you want, you know, leave some comments below and I can make another video about uh, nose, like any other like tips or you know something that you need help with or nose rings or how to take care of it or you know like anything leave some comments uh yeah i'll be glad to make some more videos on the nose piercings and stuff uh, maybe when i get some new nose rings maybe i'll show some more of those and whatever anyway all right so uh yeah give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed please and i'll see you in my video bye peace i don't know I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why I don't know you. Bad better won't make I dance, bad wanna make I sober, bad better won't make I hammer, bad better won't make I dance. She got the vibe, she got the heart. She got uh, I don't know ay, why ay, She got uh, I don't know ay, why ay, I don't ay, know ay, ay, She got a vibe, she got a home She got a vibe